our core business as an organization is to uh, foster awareness of conservation within the communities and support the communities to understand and practice conservation. We believe that um, the, one of the most powerful ways of reaching out to the communities is through the schools. We are very, very privileged to be able to engage with the children of those communities, bring them to Lewa, uh, have them experience um, the wildlife and the conservation area within Lewa. My job is to host students here on Lewa, to give them guidance to us to, on, on Lewa where we are able to learn more about wild animals as well as engage them in activities at the education center to learn more about the environment. Elephants and lions and rhino, are they valuable? Yes. When we take care of the forest, when we take care of the vegetation, we help the environment to have more water and our livers to flow. When water evaporates, it makes clouds, that meaning that there is more rainfall. Is that clear? When there is no trees, and there is no river, are there clouds? No, so when we have an environment with a lot of trees, then it means that we have more transpiration, we have more clouds formation. The conservation education program is open to schools or children that are aged 10 years and above, and we normally host students from primary schools, secondary schools and universities. Lions, trees, anything else? giraffe, gazelle, zebra. During game drive, we'll be looking at the differences between males and females. I'm very sure we'll be lucky to get most of them together, yes. During my childhood, I didn't have access to nature and wildlife. So there is this one day, a fantasmo took us to a game viewing in one of the conservancies. And it's through his guidance, I developed an interest in conservation. One of the biggest uh, insights that I got early in this year is one of the new employees who came and told me, I would like to share you a photo of a trip you took me while I was in primary school. She shared actually that photo, showing me when she was in grade six and uh, she worked towards pursuing a course in conservation education. A fantasy inspired me in conservation field and I hope that in the future, every Kenyan child should be inspired by the work we do. On Lewa, we have several guides who are working for different lodges that I handled at the primary school. So that's an inspiration. I love Lewa because it provides access to uh, nature to the Kenyan local children. We try not to teach, especially in the facility. As much as it's sharing information, we cannot assume that they have zero information. We actually share we engage so that we can learn from them what do they know, what do we know, and then we can be able to, to interact and take that to another level. We let the students appreciate every organism, endangered or not endangered, because to some, being endangered or not endangered is not really the most important thing. Seeing that animal for the first time is very exciting. I host students who have never even seen antelopes themselves, not live around now the black rhinos. And uh, when the excitement that comes when the students are shouting about an animal, like an antelope, seeing that animal for the first time is very exciting. We always receive messages from the students said, we never knew that these animals were very few, and uh, we appreciate that there is a place like Lewa where these animals are being taken care of. And uh, the students would go out saying, we commit, we actually commit to go and take care of the animals. So, it's very encouraging to feel that there is an impact that you are causing to these, you are making to these young children. If each one of us does a little thing to improve the environment, then the whole environment would transform. Mm -hmm.